first of all my dear friends thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number three on the topic clock now we are going to solve four questions based on the concept called where ends of the clock is an opposite direction so in the previous lesson what we learned is ends of the clock are together right both the ends of the clock should be together between they usually give us some timings three o'clock and four o'clock and they ask at what minute between three o'clock and four o'clock where the ends of the clock be together but here in this lesson number three we are going to solve a similar question and all the concepts are same but the question is ends of the clock should be in the opposite direction so which means let me assume that uh, any time between three o'clock and four o'clock the ends of the clock should be in opposite direction how it will be you can see between three and four you can see minute and will be somewhere between three and four and similarly are and so only then we can say ends of the clock that is minute and and hour and where ends of the clock will be in opposite direction or else they can ask a question like ends of the clock should be in the straight line but not together yes ends of the clock are in a straight line yes or no it's in a straight line but not together understood so lesson number three can be the question can be asked in two different ways the first way is where the ends of the clock should be in opposite direction or else the ends of the clock should be on the straight line but not together understood in the previous lesson what we learned is ends of the clocks are together where minute and and hour and the angle will be zero degree but here if the ends of the clock is in opposite direction then the angle should be 180 degree understood so 180 degree so we need to find at what time where the ends of the clock will be opposite direction so friends without watching lesson number two previous lesson you can't able to understand anything in this lesson so kindly try to watch lesson number two properly learn all the concepts after learning the concept watch lesson number three so that it will be easy so in lesson number three also we are going to apply the same logic i hope you remember this what i have taught you in lesson number two 55 minutes spaces are gained by the minute and in 60 minutes so never forget this sentence and also i have given you a clear explanation how they wrote the sentence from the clock so by using the same logic we are going to solve a question in this lesson too it will be very easy right if you learn lesson number two surely this lesson number three and upcoming lessons are also easy so friends now let me move on to four question in this lesson number three question number one so at what time between seven o'clock and eight o'clock the ends of the clock be in opposite direction so our target to find between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock at what time where both the ends of the clock will be in opposite direction. So first let me draw a diagram here, right? So you know that between 7 to 8, the R and will face between at any point, right? R and will face in this direction. And similarly, we can say minute and will be like this. So only then we can say between 7 to 8 where both the ends of the clock is opposite direction. So our target to find at what time? So what I have taught you in the previous lesson in note number one, 55 minutes space are gained by the minute and in 60 minutes. Same logic. Just see here, 55 is equals to 60, right? At what minute both the ands are in opposite direction? So I have put x here. Here the value. So what usually we put the value here is, we will check the minute and, right? Check the minute and from 12, right? First it has to cover 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, the minute and will exactly be opposite to the R and after 5 minutes, right? So what we need to put here is 5. The same logic what we learned in the previous lesson. This complete step is the thing what we learned in lesson number 2. Same logic, right? Same logic that we are going to apply here and we will be getting the answer, right? Just cross multiply it. So 55 into x is equals to 60 into 5. So x is equal to 60 into 5 divided by 55. So cancel it. This will be 11 times. So finally, x is equal to 60 divided by 11. So after finding this answer, check your options, how the options are. Most probably your options will be in the mixed fraction like this. We can convert this into mixed fraction. So 60 divided by 11, 5 times 55. So reminder will be 5. So finally, answer can be written as 5, 5 by 11 past 
7. Understood? This past 7 is important. What is the meaning of past 7? So after 7 o'clock, right? After 7 o'clock, 5, 5 by 11th minute, where you can see the R and and the minute and will exactly opposite to each other. Understood? That's it. This will be the answer for question number 1. I hope it is easy, right? If you learn lesson number 2, you will definitely feel lesson number 3 is also easy. And lesson number 4 will also be easy. So only thing is, you should know how to write this step. Understood? 55 minutes space are gained by minute and in 60 minutes. Then our target to find at what minute both the hands of the clock be in opposite direction x and minute and how much spaces it gains. You know, 5 minutes, after 5 minutes the minute and, and r and will be exactly opposite to each other. So I have put 5 here. And then if you solve the question, finally you will get the answer. Right? So answer for question number 1 is 5, 5 by 11 past 7. Question number 2. So similarly at what time between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock where the ants of the clock be in opposite direction. So our target to find between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock where the ants of the clock will be in opposite direction. So first let me draw a diagram right. So we can say between 3 and 4 somewhere else where our ant will point and similarly the minute ant will point between 9 to 10. Yes. Only then we can say both the ants of the clock will be in exactly opposite to each other. So remember that the angle should be 180 degree. Only then we can say both the ants are exactly opposite to each other. Understood. What is the first step? So 55 minute spaces are gained by the minute and in 60 minutes. So 55 is equal to 60. So next step you need to find x here. So next step is you need to write this value. So this value is completely depend upon the minute and right. So the minute and in order to reach this point from 3 o'clock it has to cover 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 and then right after 45 minutes where the minute and an hour and will be exactly opposite to each other after 45 minutes. So here what I Right is 45. That's it. Right. The same logic what we learnt in lesson number 2. So then cross multiply it, you will get the answer and you will convert the answer into a mixed fraction. That's it. So this will be the answer, right? So x is equal to 60 into 45. So divided by 55. Cancel it on 5 table 11 times. Cancel it on 9 table 5 times. Sorry, 5 table 9 times. So x is equal to 9, 6 are 54. So 540 divided by 11. So now divide this, 540 divided by 11, so this will be 4 times 44, so 100, 9 times 99, 1. So finally the answer will be 49, 1 by 11, past 3. So what is the meaning of past 3? After 3 o'clock, right? So three after 3 o'clock in the 49th, 1 by 11th minute, where both the ants of the clock will be exactly opposite to each other. So this will be the answer for question number 2. Question number 3. So at what time between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock the ants of the clock be in opposite direction. So our target to find between 4 and 5 in which minute the ants of the clock be in opposite direction. So we can say between 4 and 5 somewhere the R and points and uh, between this 50 minutes and 55 minutes somewhere the minute and point. So that we can say the R and and minute and will exactly be opposite in direction. So angle should be 180 degree. Understood? Okay. So next step what you need to do is the note number 1 what I have taught you in the previous lesson. So 55 minute spaces are gained by the minute and in 60 minutes. So 55 is equals to 60. So next x here. And this value is depend upon only on the minute and right by seeing the minute and you should write this value. So in order to reach the minute and at this point from here from this 4 o'clock 5 minutes right the minute and moves 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50. So after 50 minutes definitely the minute and and r and will be exactly opposite to each other. So the minute and gain 50 minutes right so 50 is equals to x that's it because after 50 minutes definitely the minute and an r and will be opposite to each other so write 50 here yeah, that is enough so let me cross multiply it so x is equal to 60 into 50 so divided by 55 so x is equal to cancel it on 5 table 11 times this will be 10 times 600 divided by 11 yes 60 into 10 okay 
so now divide this 600 by 11 5 times 55 so this will be 50 4 times 44 so 6 so finally you can say answer will be 54 6 by 11 past 4 yes so finally this will be the answer for question number 3 right so after 4 o'clock 54th 6 by 11th minute where both the ends of the clock will be exactly opposite to each other so this will be the answer for question number 3 so last fourth question so at what time between 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock the ends of the clock be in opposite direction right so between 11 to 12 so we can say the r and will point somewhere between 11 to 12 and similarly the minute and will point somewhere between 5 to 6 only then we can say where both the ends of the clock will be in opposite direction right so 55 minutes spaces are gained by the minute and in 60 minutes so how much spaces are gained in what minute so this value is completely depend on the minute and right just see the minute and from here 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 25 so after 25 minutes definitely the minute and and hour and will be exactly opposite to each other so what you write here is 25 minutes right after 25 minutes where the, both the hands of the clock will be in the exactly opposite to each other so i can write 25 here right so cross multiply it so x is equal to 60 into 25 divided by 55 so cancel it on 5 table 5 times 11 times so x is equal to 300 divided by 11 so now divide this 300 by 11 so 2 times 22 so 80 here 7 times 77 so remainder will be 3 so finally you can say 27 3 by 11 so past 11 right so past 11 is after 11 o'clock so after 11 o'clock 27 to 3 by 11 to minute where both the ends of the clock will be exactly opposite to each other understood so this will be the answer for question number four friends that's it very easiest lesson why you feel this lesson is easy because you have learned the logic in the previous lesson so that's the that's the only reason if you learn the logic properly then solving all the questions in the clock is very simple right so don't forget to watch the next lesson too because next lesson will be like both the ends of the clock will be exactly right angle 90 degree so that's that question can be also solved by the similar method so 55 minutes spaces are gained uh, by the minute and in 60 minutes by using the same logic you can able to solve most of the question in clock right so thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share it to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much bye